Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Hi everybody and thanks for tuning in to today's video and I want to give a special thanks to uh, John for his recent uh, contribution through uh, my Patreon account and a special thanks to Patrick as well. Uh, those guys are, are the newest members gaining about one a week. My goal uh, by the end of the year is to have a hundred. I think I'm up to around 25 or so. So thanks to those two guys for joining. And a special thanks to uh, David for a uh, contribution and contacting me about getting a couple of parts for him. Appreciate his help. And, of course, Julian for his generous contribution to PayPal. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching and for your support. It is barely raining here in Albuquerque. I couldn't see it from in the apartment or I wouldn't have came out. The Browns football game just started but I wanted to open up this cylinder look and see if this thing still has the same amount of carbon if we could tell with that uh, boroscope camera let's get that done real quick and I'll go back inside looking at the camera unfortunately there's still a bunch of carbon buildup on top of that piston. Looks like I got that writing still over there. Let me get my. Yeah, still a lot of carbon buildup on there. Very little, if any, has come off. That piston's got a lot of carbon on it. So the steam bath didn't clean it the way I'd hoped. And, you know, every 2,500 miles, I run uh, a Lucas through there. So that hadn't keep, kept it clean. So what I'm probably going to do is start running Lucas every tank for the next 10 tanks and see if it looks any better. I probably should have cleaned those piston tops off when I had that cylinder head off. But still got a lot of carbon on that thing. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run some sea foam through there. See if the sea foam does a better job than the water did. Since I, I've never done that and the seals in the engine are relatively new, I don't think sea foam will do any damage. So I'm going to go ahead and run sea foam through there. I, I would not do that if I had 10 or 20 year old valve stem seals. Now, we got to remember, this vehicle has 390,000 miles on it. I know the valve stem seals were uh, leaking at 188. Don't know how much before that they were leaking. And they leaked all the way through till I did the cylinder head at uh, 364, 362. Now, at 362, I had the head off and didn't know any better. I should have cleaned those uh piston tops off I cleaned everything else up but I did not clean those piston tops off so that thing has 300 and at least 365,000 miles of uh, uh, carbon buildup before I redid that cylinder head so I don't know if anything will move that stuff other than a, a hard uh, actual physical clean so We'll see what happens after Seafoam, and then after that, I'll just use Lucas every tank full for uh, a 10 tanks and see if that makes a difference, and we'll go from there. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.